we had a little more than four hours to get Skippy back. And instead of finding out who kidnapped Skippy, I was finding out what it felt like to have a gun pulled on me. It's not a good feeling. Well, I take it these two are the perpetrators, huh? You got it, officer. These two set off a bomb on a gambling floor. So you want to set up bombs, huh? Well, we got a place for people like you. Get in the back of the car. You too! I'll take it from here. We don't take too kindly to bombers down at the station. Me and the boys have a real good time with them. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Get in, get in! Nice going, Comet. Right on time. You know it. I hope Comet and the twins got out all right. Don't worry about it, Chris. Comet is a professional. Um, Cupid. What is it, Chris? Looks like we got company. Well, let's see what they got under the hood. Looks like the twins were right. You are the best drivers in town. No time for celebration, E. We need to find a safe spot. Don't worry about it. I called Dasher. He'll look out for us. Two hours left, Skippy, and it's not looking good. But, why are you doing this? Your brother owes me, Skippy, and he's gonna pay. I really don't think we're gonna make it up that mountain in two hours, Chris. I know. Not even Cupid can get us there that fast. Well, maybe not as fast as Cupid, but I do know somebody who can get you up there pretty fast. They only got two hours. How fast can he get him there? 30 minutes. Get him on the phone, Dasher. Now there's two things about me I take great pride in. Number one is being prepared. And number two is my buddies. Now I've known Skippy for as long as I've known you. Once you called me and said you needed help, you got help in every way that I could. I've already called Blitzen. He's on his way now. You know, you learn something new about people every day. And today I'm learning is that Skippy had a lot of friends. Well, how you fellas doing? I'm blitzing. Time's a ticking, gentlemen. Come on up here and strap in. I know a spot where I can land safely at the top of the ridge. It's about 10 minutes away from where you boys need to be at. If you boys need any help, set off that flare gun I gave you. And the cavalry's are coming. Over there, that looks like the spot, Chris. Let's go check it out. There he is. Skippy, you all right? Hold the flashlight, Chris. All right, Skippy, who did this to you? Where are they at? Well, well. Looks like Big Brother made it. Why don't you come out here and show your face so I can bring the pain? Tiny Tim, what are you doing? 
I'm taking what's owed to me. And the way I see it, you owe me 25,000 big ones. But, but, I, I don't understand. You got my father fired from that toy factory. He had to go work for the Scrooge family. Do you have any idea what it's like to work for the Scrooge family? They pay you peanuts. He had to skim off the top just so we can have food on the table. E. That's not my fault, Tiny Tim. I'm tired of playing games with you, E. Hand over the money, or little Skippy gets it. Hold on, Tiny Tim. What if I told you I can get your dad's job back? It's too late, Chris. No turning back. And that's pretty much what happened before I saw the light. Wow. That was a pretty crazy day you had yesterday, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. But at least we got Skippy back. Okay, Chris. Well, well, here's the thing. I can't let you in. All right, now hold on. Now let me explain. All right? I'm, I'm not going to go down there, am I? Oh, no, 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 Chris, jeez. What, you, you think I'd just see down there like that? Really? I'm that guy? Well, you know, process of elimination. If, if I'm not coming here, you know, I kind of assumed I was going there. No, nah, Chris, I'm sending you back to Earth. Do you realize, out of everything that happened to you yesterday, you stayed the same, you stayed grounded, and you kept your friends grounded, too. People like that are rare, Chris. I like to keep them on Earth. Maybe help me out a little bit, you know? Oh, okay, I see. You mean like an angel or something? Whoa, Chris, pump your brakes. You gotta crawl before you walk, okay? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But one day, hey, you know, you could influence the whole world. Well, I'll see you later, Chris. And just remember, don't ever change, man. You know, guys, this really wasn't a story about how Santa became Santa. It was a story about how good people are good people, no matter what the circumstances are. You just make sure you stay on that nice list. I mean, I'm not Santa or anything, but I know him pretty well. <laughs>